So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a shadow pass in Maya to um, create a render out only the shadows that are being cast on an object. Something similar to this. The render would look like this and anything in white, your alpha channel, if you go up here, renders out the shadow alone. So you do that using passes and um, you'll need to create a new layer, and this will be your cast pass, your cast shadow pass. Um, I say cast shadow because, oops, nothing's selected yet. Okay, sorry. Uh, I say cast shadow because you want, there will be multiple shadow passes. One will be the shadow that's cast on the floor. Another might be the shadow that's cast onto your character themselves. And, um, for today, we're just going to do one pass, which will be the one that's being cast on the floor. So after you create your layer, you're going to need to right click and create a collection. Our first collection will be our character. The thing that is casting the shadow. So we're going to go into our outliner, select all the geometry that is involved in casting the shadow. And I'm also going to click a couple other extra things here. And then once I have everything selected, I just add. All right, first collection complete, second collection. Uh, this is what is receiving the shadow. So the floor in this case uh, might be different for you, but just one object in this case for me. If you have more than one object receiving shadows, just add them all. And then one more collection, sun, which I will explain later, but just if you're using a sky dome uh, and directional light, you'll need to select the sky dome and add. If you're only using directional light, this uh, you can skip this part. Okay, so now we go back to our character. I'm going to so make sure that, sorry, make sure that you are viewing only what's in your layer and you've got render and the eye selected here. Um, now I'm going to select everything in my character uh, collection. So I'm selecting it in the outliner just to make sure that I've got it here. Okay. Now that you have it all selected, go to your attribute editor. And on the second tab here, we're going to find render stats, primary visibility, right click on that create absolute override for a visible layer. Select that, it should turn orange. I'm going to unselect it. That will make it invisible uh, in the, in the um, render, but it will still have the power to cast a shadow. So, and you'll see that the absolute override is uh, applied here in the little um, passes. Okay, so uh, just to test it, I'm gonna render this out. Arnold render. And yeah, so the floor is still showing up, but uh, the character is not. Okay, that's what we wanted. Now we go back and floor. We're going to right click on that and we're going to create a shader override. So once we have that applied, we go to our checkerboard and down to shader and AI shadow mat. Double click on that. And I'm rendering with Arnold, so uh, this applies to the Arnold renderer, um, FYI. Okay, so that should be helpful. Now I'm going to render out and show you what we've got. Arnold render. Now this is why I include the sun or the sky dome in my um, shadow pass. I get these artifacts here um, on the floor that are from the sky dome and also there's some um uh i guess like additional white kind of bleeding off of the shadow itself i want a sharp shadow so i only want the shadow that's be being created because of the directional light i don't want the sky dome to be involved um it'll create a cleaner shadow for me so i am going to quickly just create a um visibility override for the sun so uh just gonna make sure i have my sun selected 
and I'd set the attribute editor. I'm going to the first tab and then at visibility, I'm right clicking, creating absolute override for layer, and then I'm unselecting visibility of the sun. And you'll see that was applied in our passes panel. Okay, one more render to see if it worked out. And there it is, perfect. That's a nice clean shadow uh, that our character is creating on the ground. And like I said before, if you're not seeing what I'm seeing, just make sure that your R oop, that your RGB is switched to alpha. And um, now it's time for us to render out what we need. And to render it out, make sure you have your little render symbol selected in your um, pass view and only select it for the layer that you want to render out. And um, I will show you how to assemble it in uh, After Effects. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Okay, so we're going to bring in the shadow in After Effects. This would work with other software as well, but I'm using After Effects because I just like it. Um, I just want to note that when you rendered out the uh, shadow, we looked at the alpha channel because we couldn't see it in the RGB. And that's just because the shadow is black. And when you have a uh, transparent background, it shows up as black as well uh, sometimes. So that's just the reason we looked at the alpha. Um, now when we bring it in, it'll come in with the alpha transparent and we'll see the shadow itself. So import file, um, if you right click in the project window, I've got it right here, I'll double click. I'm going to right click on this and interpret the footage as 24 frames per second, not 30. And then I'm going to drag it down. I'm gonna drag it underneath my character layer because the shadow shouldn't go over her feet, it should go under them. And there it is. As you can see, it's got transparency, so it's just the black of the shadow, if I turn her off. And then um, I think it's a little too dark, I wanna turn down the transparency a touch. So I'm going to bring that down to like 90. And also I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. It doesn't make a big difference in this, but uh, it's just good habit for other things when you uh, render shadows. So we've got the mode at multiply, opacity's down a bit. It's in the right place. As you can see, we have just one image for our background, which is nice. Um, and there's our character moving around. So let's see how it turned out. Cool, I really like how there's two shadows. It's very subtle, but there's a light coming in from the window and there's also a light coming in in the room behind, uh, casting a shadow behind her. So I think that's really awesome. I love shadow passes. I think that they're so convenient and easy and great um, when you wanna render fast and high quality to render in passes is uh, such a great thing. So I hope I helped you guys in some way and please like and subscribe. See you later, bye.